Uh, pleasant good morning to you. You know, dead people just get a lot of care and attention, you know. Yeah. But they're not feeling that care and attention. Now in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 4 it says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. And then he goes on to say, Satan, eh? Uh, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Think about this. The biggest trick and biggest lie ever told to mankind is right here. Ye shall not surely die. It came with a promise to Eve when Satan said, God knows that if you eat of the tree that God said you shall not eat of, if you eat it, you shall be as gods. Now be honest with yourself. Who doesn't want to be like a god? And so uh, Eve took the bait, ate the fruit, and today where she is. Now, never experiment with God's truth. If God says this is going to happen, in this case, you are going to die if you eat the fruit. If you eat it, you're going to die. Understand, God doesn't lie. If you don't die, and God said if you eat it, you're going to die. If you don't die, that means God lies, and God doesn't lie. So come back to death. Come back to death. You see all them dead people that in them tombs and in the burying grounds, that you're lighting candle and you're carrying food and you're giving gifts to, stop it, stop it. You don't have to do that. No, don't feel obligated because the person is dead. Let me offer some advice. If it helps you to go and paint up the tomb and clean up the graveside, go ahead if it helps you emotionally. But as you are doing it, understand that is only dealing with your emotion that is no kindness to the dead because they cannot experience that kindness the better thing for you to do if you have elderly loved ones alive today the better thing for you to do is treat them nice give them flowers while they are alive so that when they die you would say well i kiss grandpa I brought a cup of water to grandma. I bought this for grandma. You will feel better if you have treated them nice while they are alive. So the dead, the dead, my father dead and gone. If I was close by, I would have, I would have cleaned up the graveside. But I know you cannot answer me. That is the truth from God's word. The living know that they shall die, but the dead knows not anything. God and Father. Help us to walk away from the lie that Satan told originally in the Garden of Eden that we shall be as gods if we disobey you. Help us to accept that while we are alive, that's the time for us to meet out kindness to individuals because when we go to the grave, we know not anything. Thanks ever so much for your goodness towards us. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.